there is a beautiful and often underappreciated mitzvah of vidoy ma'aser in Parshat Ki Tavo, in which the farmer, after completing the cycle of the tax season of giving maaser, giving a tenth to the levy, giving truma to the kohen, giving maaser ani to the poor, or maaser uh, Shani bringing the crops to Yerushalayim. After completing that entire cycle, the farmer comes to the Beit Hamikdash and he makes a declaration and he says, "I have done all that you asked me. Kachol mitzvatcha asher tzivitani. I've done all that you have commanded. Lo avarti mitzvotecha. I haven't passed over one iota. Velo shachachti. I didn't forget anything." And he goes to the checklist of all of the ways in which he accomplished the mitzvah of Maiser, which is a very involved and time-consuming and sacrificial mitzvah. The farmer lists all the ways in which he has succeeded. This declaration, this vidoy, contrasts starkly to the associations that we usually have with vidoy. Of course, on the heels of the Amim Noraim, with Slichot, coming this Motzei Shabbat, we associate vidoy with admitting our mistakes and faults. We beat our chests and confess all of the shortcomings, all of the limitations that we have. Maybe we forgot to make brachot. Maybe we didn't come to shul on time. Maybe we didn't treat somebody fairly or honestly in business. So many things that we are confessing in the season of the Amim Noraim that we're trying to change. This vidoy is of a totally different nature. It's of a totally different sort. Rav Kook, in his commentary, Ein Aya, says that while it is important to be disappointed in our failings, it is also important to take pride in our triumphs. The mitzvah of Ma'aser, a vidoy ma'aser, demonstrates to us that we can grow by celebrating our achievements. And sometimes it's okay, not even okay, but encouraged and um, important to say that we got something right, that we did well by Hashem, we did well by our community, because that allows us to internalize our successes so that we can continue to sustain them and even amplify and grow them. This is Rav Cook's theory of tshuva. It is a strength-based approach in which we look at our skills and our talents and we try to amplify and grow them to an even higher level. That, of course, contrasts with a weakness-based approach, which is looking at all of our failings and disappointments and saying we're going to bend our will to comply more with what we should be doing. That's necessary and we're heading into a season in which that is the call of the hour. But with Vidoy Maaser in our Parsha, we learn that there is an importance in having a balanced self-image. At the same time that we are beating ourselves up and there is a place and time for that, we also have to be appreciating celebrating and recognizing the good that we do. We can't take that for granted. We need to be able to really internalize that it is significant and it is worthy of declaring publicly among friends, among our community, that we have done something well. I hope that we can balance these two types of vidoy in the uh, month uh, uh, ahead of us and that we can emerge a little bit closer to where we need to be. See you in Shul.